Hey, what's up, guys? And in this video, we're doing an account tour because I hit a total rating of 1 million, which is kind of crazy to think about because when I first started this game, I remember when, like, uh, what was it? Like, Brittle DLX or whoever it was first, or Giants Rim, hit a million. It's a cool milestone to hit. Um, yeah, it feels cool, I guess. Um, but, yeah, my account tour, we have 10 million, or 1 million, um, hero rating, 518 champions, and 10,427 prestige. If we go to the champions, we can look at the six stars. We got six star rank three Aegon. He was a prestige rank up, and like he'll be used for Abyss when I do like the later paths because I've only done one path. Um, we got Corvus rank two. He's just the AQ Messiah. He does so much for the account. Ghost, she got me through a lot of Act Six once I got her. And I got her awakened from Abyss. I got a um, tech awakening gem. And then all these guys don't really do much, but. And we go into the five stars. Um, we have how many maxed out? We have 13 maxed out. We got Blade. Blade was the first character I maxed out. He, um, he doesn't do much nowadays, but back in the day, he used to do like everything for me. Now he's kind of just a bench warmer, and he gets used here and there and random pass in Act 6 when I was doing it. Sunspot, he was a prestige ranker, but he, he ha he's gonna have his use in um, AW. I'm gonna take him against the Elsa Bloodstones. Oh, I'm gonna take him against the Elsa Bloodstones in war. Because, you know, I need a mutant. Medusa, she's just a robot killer. She just sits in AW, um, lines for defense right now. Doesn't do much, but I use her occasionally for, um, like massive robots and stuff and sometimes for the poison path and aq but not really anymore aegon he was the og boy for abyss and labyrinth and a whole bunch of stuff in act six actually but then i got the six star to rank three so he's kind of just on the bench now um captain american for new war i love this guy right now he's kind of sitting on the bench but He's very useful, so I use this guy a lot for a bunch of random different things. He's a perfect blocked man, so good in Act 6, and I can't say it, like much about him. He's just insane. Symbiote Supreme, or into our defense, but he was very helpful in Act 6 because there were a lot of Mastic cop fights that he was good for, like the Medusa boss, the Champion boss, a whole bunch of other random things. Doom, newest rank 5. He's, um, he's like my favorite character to play right now. He's so fun. Even though I went to suicides, he, um, oh my god, just for like, like the event quest, I'm just using him in the event quest, he's just so fun for that. Archangel, this guy was very useful in rank 6 too, he has a lot of really cool uses, and at rank 5 he just shreds things, he's my, oh, he's my Realm of Legends potion farmer too, on that Winter Soldier, so, thing, thing kind of just like, sits around and doesn't do much. He's going to be probably be used in the um, can't stop or won't stop path in AQ map 6, but other than that, he's not really too useful. I think him only for that one path in Act 6.3, can't stop or won't stop. And after that, he's not, he's kind of just sitting around. Quake has been so sick for some stuff. I just ran 5 though, and I just started getting really good with her recently. I thought it'd be really hard to master, but she's not that hard to master. You just gotta do a little. She was an MB, MVP for a lot of stuff in Act 6.4. And she's my MVP for a lot of tour right now. And she's just overall quick, just so good. Um, Venom, he doesn't do anything um, at all. <laughs> kind of just sits around. But he, he was a vent. He was originally my OG clearer. For like event quests and stuff, just for like my damage clear, my like just yeah, just quest questing. And he was just he was the boy for that until I pulled like Corvus as the six star. And then that's when he kind of started seeing more benches, and um, now he's the professional bench warmer. But I still like my venom; he's pretty sick. So next we got Hyperion. This guy is used in AQ for the poison lands, and he's overall a sick beast. He was really good for a lot of paths in Act 6. Like, really good. So, yeah, Hyperion is still a really good character. Even though he's, like, what, 2016 or something like that? He's old. Next, last rank 5, we have She-Hulk. She, um... 
she hasn't really done too much. She just she helped me for a few paths and um on the champion fight, but other than that, mm, she didn't do too much. But she's still a cool character to have a rank five. Next we got Star Six Spider Man. This guy I want to tank to rank five. I'm gonna take so the characters I'm taking to rank five. The stealth suit because I have six um tier five. We're gonna take up him, Mysterio, and Colossus. Still see Spider Man is um he's basically gonna be put in a rank five only because I want to take him again when I do abyss when I do the other passive abyss I have to take that Luke Cage fight three more times and he is like by far like the best option for that fight every other character kind of sucks for it but he makes it a lot easier he can one shot it Mysterio, I'm gonna take him to rank five um if I get him awakened I can sig 200 him and he'd be really good for prestige so i'm just gonna rank five just just to have him up there because i think he's just a fun character he's good poison immune i like playing him he's fun class is on i take to rank five for um uh, i don't even know i think he's just fun and i need to waste some of this t2 alpha as you can see but yeah colossus will be helping with that and then these are just all the four stars i have at rank four that I'm, I have five stars I rank four, then I'm just not gonna rank up ever. Spider Man, Ultron, Star Lord. Thor and Foster and Yellow Jacket actually are really helpful for um, a certain path and XX. Each of them had their own special rank ups with the 2015 gems, and they were actually pretty useful, so yeah. And then we go to the rank threes Wasp, uh, Star, Ghost, Iron Man, Nebula, Dormammu, Spider Man, Miles, Heimdall, Havoc, Domino, Cosplay, Wolverine, Iceman. Duck Hawk, Red Skull, Red Hulk, Hawkeye, and if I never pull like a Warlock or something, Red Skull might have to be going to rank 5 for the Abyss Havoc. I don't know how long that fight would be, but you know, I gotta do what you gotta do. Um, Corvus, he's going up to rank 3, I just don't have any ISO, but um, I, I, I kind of just want to like have him up there at rank 5. Just so like I could run double Corvus for certain things. Domino, I know people love playing her, but something about her I just never really like enjoyed too much. I don't know what it is, but she's a fun. No, actually I do enjoy playing her, but like I don't really need like I don't really need a ring for Domino. If you know what I mean, like right now like there's not really anything I use her for. I could I, I have the full synergies, massacre Red Hulk Domino, but I just I don't know something about it. I just I don't really need like a crazy damage dealer right now. Actually, I might rank Fiverr, and then I think about it, for potion farming and, La and rum legends. I, can't, I don't know who's faster, Arcanes or her, but we'll see. Whatever. And then Red Hulk, Hawkeye, and then the rest are just rank twos. I recently pulled Namor, but he's probably never going to see rank five, only because he's never going to be sick 200. It just, it'll take too long, and then by that point, we're all going to have... By the time I get this guy as a five star to sick 200, I mean... I'm gonna be having my. I'm gonna use my six star rank fives at that point. <laughs> so go down a little bit more. Um, pretty trash. We got Void. If I can manage to awaken him, he'll be going to rank five too. But I do have a six star, so it's kind of like six star, five star. Whoever I awaken first is going to that rank two, rank five level. Um, scrolling a little bit more. We recently bought a Mega Red, but I mean. He's not awakened. He's going to be on the bench for a while. Because, once again, I don't really need, like, a high damage. Like, you know, I think it's funny. Because I think the top four mutants would be a Mega Red, um, Domino, Namor, like, Sunspot, Archangel. So, top five mutants. And I think Archangel, Sunspot fall bet underneath the other three. But, yeah, I rank five of those two over the other three any day. I just feel like these guys have way better play. So, I was like... Domino is fun. I'll probably rank five or eventually, but like the two quote unquote best mutants, Namor and Omega Red, I just their play style is just so ugh, just I didn't want, you have to like sig two hundred both of them. It's just I don't like characters that rely on sig two hundred. It's just kind of aids because I don't have six stones, and yeah. So we go to a four stars. Um, I mean, I haven't touched four stars in a while. Most of them are just sitting at rank one, just doing nothing, collecting dust, all the rank ones. I'm missing these lot. I'm missing Clairvoyant, Doom, Elsa. I could get like, pretty much the newer characters. I mean, but whatever. I don't like care to grind for them. Three stars. I don't really rank up three stars ever either. 
Um, I think I have every three star in the game, except for like the two new ones, and then Vision, Deadpool, Iron Fist, and Immortal Iron Fist. This guy, I don't think I'm ever gonna get him because my luck just does not seem like it's there. Deadpool, I mean, I'm never gonna get him because I had to buy the offer. I didn't ever buy him. And then Vision, I just didn't buy the offer either, so whatever. Two stars, we have every two star max though, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, two stars like the only um, thing I have fully maxed out. I'm missing a lot of two stars actually. Jesus Christ. One stars, I mean, I got Hulk, so he was very useful in variant four. And I thought everyone got like a Wolverine Spider-Man, but I guess I was like the only person that like didn't get him, but it's kind of weird, kind of tragic, but whatever. Um, and then we can go to my inventory, my catalyst, what we're working with. So for tier five, we max on a basic, and then we're like almost halfway through science, and we have a mystic. Now, I'm gonna wait until Doom goes into the basic, because the featured crystal is so hit or miss that like, if I go for basics when they come out, I obviously have a way less chance of getting him, but if I miss him, at least there's a chance I get someone who's not trash. Um, so yeah. And then if we go to the inventory for waking gems, I have a six star waking gem. Cosmic, I could give it to Corvus, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait until I get a tier five class catalyst for Cosmic. And then if I still don't have Cat Marvel by then, then I'll pump both of them into him, rank three Corvus. Cause I still think Corvus is a, like amazing character, but I feel like <sighs> using him in Act six, it was hard for some of the fights. I mean, he still killed a lot of fights in Act six. When you put on like the 200% booster and all that, it was great, but I'd rather have a character who doesn't rely on like boosters to do their damage, so. Probably gonna wait till Captain Marvel, but if I get a tier 5 cosmic and I have a cosmic and this gem just sitting here Then yeah, I'll pump on both into Corvus, but for now we're just gonna chill We got three five-star awakening gems for skill. I mean like I mean, <laughs> I don't know if these are ever gonna get used um, Saving one for like Nick Fury. I'll save the other for like Gwenpool for fun or something and then I don't know. There's just no one I really want to use it on. Um, yeah, these are my six stones. Don't really have too much of any class. So that's because I didn't spend money. But look, I have like no five star six stones. But if you look at tech, tech's like the only class that I like don't have a five star that I need six stones in right now. But if we pull a Mysterio, I can instantly take him to six two hundred. If we awaken Mysterio, I mean, I can take him straight to six two hundred. And then we also have three of these. We have three of the one to two six star gems from Act Six. So I can right now take up any six star to rank two if I pull them. So yeah. And if I didn't run suicides, I'd probably rank three morning star. But I run suicides, so morning star is just kinda gonna be on the bench for a while. So yeah. Ideally, if I could pull a clairvoyant and awakener. Same thing with Doom, Clairvoyant or Doom, pretty much. That'll be a nice rank three. So, yeah. Anything else? Uh, I mean, I guess you can see the crystal stash. We don't really have too much, but... Well, we have 54 of these. These things, like, just kind of waiting to get their use. Um, tier 2, Tier 1 stuff from this month's event. 62, map 6. Uh, 34, map 7, because I open them sometimes for stuff. I uh, don't have too many shards, but I'm going to save all my shards, all my 5-star and 6-star shards until the featured 6-star um, ends. So in 57 days, I'll do a massive opening. And yeah, in 57 days, um, I'll do a massive opening. We also have 300,000 battle chips, pretty much. And um, the plan is to save all my units and battle chips until 4th of July. Because I don't really have money right now to spend on this game. So we're going to instead just save up 15,000 units. And then get whatever the 4th of July deals are. Because they're normally really good. So I'm kind of hyped for that. So yeah, that's my account door. 1 million um, progression. Yeah, 1 million, um, what's it called? Total base hero rating. These are my profile champs. <sighs> so yeah, and I really want to get my Doom Awakened because... His PI is so high, even unawakened, so like awakened, he's just gonna be like my top five star, and yeah. 
He's so sick. He's like my favorite character by far to play right now. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Get a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.